I want to show you how to track the motion of a limb that is on the other side of the camera and what to do when it is eclipsed by the right leg. So go ahead and do one track point. And you can do as many track points as you like at a given time, but for this kind of tracking, I like to go ahead and just work on one track point. I bring the current time indicator up to the beginning of the track, and I'll go ahead and track forward, and I can go ahead and hit the play button. Okay, I'm using page up to, to move back in the footage. I'm one frame back from where it jumps to another track point, and I'm going to click on the track point in the frame ahead of the one I'm in to delete it, and then I'm at the last good tracked frame. And then I'm going to hit the page down and move the footage forward to the next time that that marker shows and jump ahead. So I have three frames here that are not tracked and it gives me a good idea of the, the trajectory. So I'll page up to go back. When I move the track point, it'll put down a keyframe. And I'll leave two of, two of those frames won't have a key. And I'll track ahead to where that is showing again. And then I'll go ahead and move forward. And uh, so getting getting close to it. Okay, so go back and I want to delete that one frame and then it looks like it the track marker is eclipsed there and it shows, does, is that it? Yeah, it shows up again. I want to make sure. I want to make sure. So this is where it shows up again. I'll move it there and the track program will automatically create a keyframe and again, you can kind of see that uh, kind of move it, and then uh, because it's showing again, and uh, hit the play button and track. So when it gets close to a point where you think it'll be eclipsed, then you can go ahead and hit the uh, space bar and just keep doing that. And that pretty much takes care of when one of your track markers is eclipsed by it during the, during the footage.